Welcome to the project demonstration of combustible gas detection and alerting system by using PIC microcontroller and GSM module along with LCD display for message monitoring purpose. So here we are detecting uh, detecting the combustible gases by using MQ05, so which can detect the uh, three gases mainly that is uh, hydrogen and LPG and methane that is CH4 and also it can detect the CO also totally four gases can be detected by this uh, MQ05 sensor module which we have interfaced to the PIC 16F73 microcontroller at pin number A0 and based on the gas detection it will provide us the digital input to the microcontroller from the A0 pin and based on that in signal it will on the buzzer which we have interfaced at the C3 pin and it will send the SMS alert to the registered phone number inside the microcontroller using embedded C language through this GSM module which we have interfaced that to the microcontroller at B0, B1 and so called status continuously displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen we have interfaced that to the pin number B22, B7 so these are the main input and output modules of our project input model is MQ05 sensor, outputs, buzzer, LCD display and GSM module and on this motherboard, this PIC 16F73 microcontroller, this is the main microcontroller. So which will uh, getting a, a clock pulse signal from this steel plated crystal oscillator that is 20 megahertz of oscillating frequency. So the crystal oscillator purpose is, we have loaded the uh, instructions in embedded C language inside the microcontroller. Each instruction need one pulse to be executed. So like that we are providing 20 mega pulses per second so controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second and the next component is reset switch so to restart the microcontroller it won't erase the program just it will reset the microcontroller so which will uh, play a uh, plays major role in our project to restart the microcontroller so let us see demonstration before demonstration uh, first step is insert a valid sim card uh, other than Geo, use you can use the Airtel, VI or a BSNL. So insert that in this manner and lock it gently, the gap. And that particular SIM card should have the SMS balance or main balance. And after that, give the power supply to the adapter, so which will take 12 volts DC, sorry, uh, to the 12 volts AC and provide as a 12 volts DC one amp output. And hold the switch. After switch on the uh, power supply, hold the switch and wait till this particular light blinks slowly. As of now, it's blink very fast. After a uh, SIM card got the signal, it blinks slowly. So the purpose of this one is we need to hold the controller till the GSM modem got the signal. After got the signal only, we should uh, release the microcontroller to communicate to the GSM module. Right after resetting, uh, burst up button released. Then the system will display the welcome message. And the buzzer and LED will be on and off two times as indication of the controller start execution or the process of the sensing the data. So when we show the uh, gas input to this one, so while pressing that, no need to press hardly until the uh, till the fire. Just only press the, uh, gentle slowly. You can sense the gas was released. Then we can see one light got switched on. Here the LED indication and the alert message and buzzer gets switched on. So it will take around of 6 to 7 seconds the message has to be arrived in your uh, message inbox to the mobile phone. So this, this is the previous message we have received while testing. Right, so we got the message of alert gas detected. So after 5 seconds of duration again the buzzer will be off. Again the system will scan the sensor data again. So again if it is any abnormality detected from this one due to any gas leakage, either the methane gas or LPG gas or hydrogen gas detected then uh, it will provide the alert message along with the SMS alert. Right, we got the one more message. 